Welcome to Handelabra Live. No wait, it's Saturday. <laughs> Good job, John. Welcome hey, to Lou. Dolphin's Dive. No wait. Wait. <laughs> Seamus, help us out here. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spirit Island Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> for one more oh, for one more week and next week it will be saturday for you as well yes yes it will until you do you have daylight savings in the summertime as well summertime uh but for us it doesn't start till the 28th of march so right so there'll be a couple of weeks of two week period where we're one hour off from normal yes um which is unfortunate because we should be actually stopping daylight savings this year with the rest of the EU, but Ireland has decided not to do that to stay, so we'll stay in play. Everyone should stop it. Do it, much to your ire. Yes. <laughs> he is in the and land of ire. Called ire land. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's nothing like a good grudge. Yeah. Uh, welcome to our viewers on Twitch and from the mysterious future of YouTube. Uh, MK Rule says this game has been dying for Branch and Claw. Well, Branch well, and Claw. We have is... a surprise for yeah. you. It's in development and we are showing previews all the time, including tonight. Number one in your top digital games video. Awesome. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not mention that Handleover Games believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible. Uh, we also support Black Lives Matter and trans rights being human rights, among other things. Uh, anyone actively working against these goals is not welcome and will not be tolerated. Lou Dolphin is quick on the ban hammer. Mostly, it's just right big, there. big follows coming at us. Though. <laughs> so. Want to be famous? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good. I'm famous enough. So, do we want to continue on the? France train this evening, or do we want to do something else, or both? I think we should play some one deck dungeon tonight. All right, X. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw the beta bill that was posted as it's true in development on the uh, powers long forgotten scenario beyond. There. There have the been lots of bug you had on Tuesday. <laughs> I I every game I tested has a, had a massive bug until I had a game that had no massive bug, and I was like, "Good, it's good to go." <laughs> Which oh, means there boy. might still be a massive bug, but I think we can try it. Uh, so I think let's still take France. Sure. And we can go France one. Did we do France 0, I think, last time? We did 0 and 1. All right, France 2. France 2. Slave Rebellion. So, on the fourth turn, right? This is how this works. Because yep. the... Un unless there's an event that goes into the event deck ahead of it, like, repeated, which can happen. Uh, this event will happen uh, in the first stage, normally. Um, unless you're playing... I guess you... You could be playing Prussia if you have Jagged Earth uh, as well. But uh, add Strife to one town on each board. After finishing the event card, draw another one, return the card. And also Invader of the Strife will take one damage per Dahan. Uh, add one Dahan per thing it destroys. You can sort of set up a Slave Rebellion, which I have never actually done because I always forget about the card. <laughs> I don't know about you, Seamus. You probably played this more than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we generally tend to forget about it and not worry about it. And when it pops up, it's nice. However, it should be happening on the third turn, not the fourth turn. Uh, under the top three cards, which means it's the fourth card. Oh, sorry. Yes, you're right. Right? I think yeah. so. That's my counting. Here's uh, the part where Seamus corrects John and John corrects Seamus correcting yeah. John. <laughs> also, more importantly, snuck into this sentence our paragraph here is after invaders build in a land with two explorers or more replace all but one explorer there with an equal number of towns so bad oh, no. that's the worst thing uh because we could lose the game to towns because there's a limit of seven towns per player yeah so a normal explorer with uh france is 
they put two explorers in, and then they have an explorer in two towns. Yay. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, and we're going to play Power's Long Forgotten uh, Scenario. Um, and we played this on Tuesday. We can give it a quick recap. Uh, when uh, There's going to be uh, mysterious locations located uh, on the map. Uh, when there are two invaders or more, except with France, and this is fixed, it will take three invaders or more. <laughs> uh, uh, three invaders will search it. Three to Han will search it for us. Uh, and it can be a benefit for us or a benefit for the invaders. Um, there are many different things, and hopefully they work. I fixed some I'm bugs today. I'm flipping over the mysterious location, too. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure that text out. <laughs> it does flip visually but that's not really doesn't really make sense there yeah uh cool okay so those are our random spirits are we happy with that or do you want to change them uh who wants which spirits they seem pretty good for this thunder speaker obviously um yeah. bringer has good dahan movement keeper can push dahan out with sacred sites yep seems good okay uh, I'll take Keeper. I'll take Luke. Thunder Speaker. I will be the bringer of dreams and nightmares. I will be the revealer of fear cards. And forgetter of extra <laughs> elements. <laughs> we still have the mini Lou Dolphin, except now it's mini, mini me and mini, mini Seamus. <laughs> is there, is it on the screen? I, so, oh, that's perfect because I, that's exactly, I forgot about it and it's still up in the corner there. That's great. <laughs> Oh, boy. It's going to be only Mini Seamus. Mini's long forgotten. Try to zoom right in on him. <laughs> oh, he's going off screen on the main one. Here, hang on. It's okay. I've, it's because I've cropped it. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Adjustments made. Mini Seamus activated. Uh, let's go. Oh, hang on click one more thing mouse go there we go there we go thanks for reminding you need to scroll up happy scrolling up oh yes i have zooming on hang on turn it off uh, i was testing out that as well oh testing whether you can change it in the middle without it screwing up well, no, mainly testing that, like, it wasn't doing, like, weird extra double zooms and stuff, which it still is, but I found out when that was happening. It was with the fear card where it, like, is it is the fear card or the event card that says the next normal ravage becomes a build? It, like, is like, it's a ravage. No, wait, it's a build. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I noticed that on, on the offline. So the, in, after setup, wait. Except during setup. Except right. okay. during I was setup. Wondering why there's right. only one explorer. Okay. Just yes. So with there. France, you actually get a chance at the start to, because they they can sometimes like, exp um, get into the mysterious locations on the coasts there with the cities, but they don't because they didn't they didn't happen to actually go into those spots either. But like, they didn't. Um. They also didn't explore and it put an explorer here because of the wilds. They took your wilds away. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, so one I thing that we can take my dignity away. We can try to do is try to like scoop them in the fast phase if we can move Dahan fast enough, but it can be hard to do that for some spirits. Like this spirit can move only two Dahan, not three. Or four. Um, so, so how many uh, powers are there? It's number of players plus one, right? So it's four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. There are uh, one per board plus one. So there are four mysterious sources of power. Um, right. So they're quite rare. Yeah. Four out of like. There's total 12. Uh, 12 with this number of players. 
So there's not actually any places they're in danger of immediately flipping because of because France requires three instead of two. Yeah. Uh, I think this the the lands actually that are most vulnerable are the ones with no invaders right now, because they, when they explore, they'll add two explorers and then build a town, right? Yes. Right. So like sands, these sands are more vulnerable. Um, except jungle. Actually, it's really sand. Like yeah, wetlands. Everything except jungle. But like, there's more. I guess if they explore into this wetland, then there will be also three. So, so I'm gonna try to like get into. No, it already has a town in it. So if they explore, it'd only be one explorer. No, but then I mean they they'll, they'll build, right? Well, yeah, but that's what that's the same thing I was saying. It's, like, so, so it will happen with regard. To, okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. It'll happen on next build phase for that land, basically. Yeah. I think, and that rule's probably there for for France because otherwise, like France would be like two explorers, haha! Like you don't have a ch you don't have a chance to react at all. <laughs> uh, so I guess I can potentially try to get a Midnight's Dream set up for next turn, and also, yeah, maybe I'll try to like organize either in this land here or. I mean, I can just sort of set up where this land is and then also defend it. Seems okay. I mean, wherever you want it to be, I can try to help as well. Yeah, I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. What I'm gonna do is. Question gonna... is, what am I gonna play? Am I playing sudden ambush to stop a build? I only I... get powers when I reclaim, right? And it's two power cards, so I can't yeah. really. Well, yeah, I'm going to get a power and, like, look here. for Dahan pushing generally at the start, but there wasn't any... Good job. Defend three in jungles. That's kind of nice. This has mountain... Or, sorry, uh, animal and air. Or, sorry, moon. Words! There's no air on any of these cards. You seem to have aired on that. Thank you. <laughs> Add strife. You're very punny today, dude. I am just in that kind of mood, I guess. I'm going to uh, take this one. Uh, and I'm going to go here. Because I want to, like, combo getting that with also killing those guys. <laughs> That's my thought. I'm going to gather some Dahan into there and Predatory Nightmares this town to bring those Dahan in. Uh, I will also be getting a power card. Go ahead. Okay, I just want to have a quick look at what my cards do. Push to Dahan. River is really good with this scenario because just like, I put my presence here. I make Dahan babies. Let's find out what it is. <laughs> And lightning is really a really good partner too because it's just like make fast make fast babies. Also, lightning pushes to Han. Uh, nothing with wilds on it. Uh, so I am looking for sun, fire, plant, and air. Um, I wish isolation moved more than one Dahan. Yeah. It does push move a Dahan, though. Push one town city per Dahan, or push one Dahan per town... Or, sorry, explore town. <laughs> kind of interesting, but, like, if it flips... That could be interesting, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I will go with Tormenting Rock Flies.
actually have enough money about one so money you don't have enough money for money that one? Is energy this like spirit island the monopoly edition <laughs> I did play with someone who would only refer to energy as money. And I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. All right. But also there's a new feature uh, in this build, that little button by Lude's spirit. Uh, spirit nice. foresight. It will show you what's happening. What's happening? No ravage, but this turn they're building in five lands making four towns and one city, and you can also hover over lands to see exactly what's going on, and you can click on the lands to see exactly what things are in there. Or like if something nice. prompts you to like choose an invader, you can click on the land that way to uh, take a look. So we're, that's a, we're iterating on that, but we're uh, testing that out, and it's pretty nice. You don't have to count up the damage in a land anymore. It will do that for you. Hmm. So in order for me to do Dahan things, I need to gather the warrior, so I need to have animal. You also have Voice of Thunder, which is really strong. True. So my first thought was to gather into the eight to take out that explorer. Not a land that has a uh, mysterious location because they had Dahan in it before. But with Voice of Thunder, I could push them into B6 and get that uncovered. For me to do that... Two card plays, and I can't get to that energy, and I don't have enough innate, so I'm going to have to gain yeah, four energy. That is one of the classic openings. Well, okay, John. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the classic openings for Thunderspeaker. For River, I kind of know, but for other spirits, I don't. So I probably, since I'm going to be pushing three, I'm going to make that a sacred save. Well, yeah, I think with, with Thunderspeaker, I often try to make sure I don't play both of my animal cards or like I, I play one animal card on each of the first two turns. Otherwise you yeah. miss out on your innate on one of the turns. Indeed. All right. I will. Hopefully they do explore the wetlands because my manifestations in B6 would be quite strong. It's true. All right. I will reveal a fear card. Each player adds strife to a town. That could come in handy. Yes, it probably will. If it combos with the uh, the Slave Rebellion event, that would be pretty cool. But we're probably going to use it to stop Blight. All right. I'm, I'm going to gather... Uh, lead two in the sons of my board, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to gather these solo guys anyways because I need them in groups. All right. What? Oh, yeah, if you can send one into the... If you can send one into the, the woods with me, we'll get it right away. Okay. At it's least we, happening. We get to look. Let's we'll see what it is. It's ooh, a rope woven out of the wind. This one's awesome. All powers have range plus one. Nice. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my gosh. So, so good. All right. This so everything. We're gonna. You, you have to activate these because you can save them um, to use whenever you want or not use them and get points, but I'm going to click use because this is just going to be awesome for the whole game. So uh, We have used it. 
So now you can set an ambush at range two. Ooh. Excellent. Still using it at range zero. <laughs> That's fair. The explorer. That's really good for all the range zero powers we have. Into the mountains. Oh, good. My manifestations is now range one, so I can target a land that doesn't have my presence in it. Wait. That's not Here's... good. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't really work for that card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Now that we actually dealt with that, I could stop them getting the sacred the, the hidden thing here so i think that has value right yes, it does. uh because i can do two damage i don't get to move to han but i get to scare them away um and i'll scare them somewhere i guess with me is probably safest because i can scare them away later Unless you have another, anyone has another thought, but it, that seems fine. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, and if we're do, if we're flipping things, we might want to do that first. So I think Lude was going to do one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it's going to make sense to do it in B six. Because it You're might not going to undo anything you did. Yeah, I don't think so. It can like give us plus one damage and stuff, so that's it's good to like do it first if you're gonna do it. Oh! Oh! oh. Source of power. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry. We should have added the sound effect. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's we already revealed one, so we were at three out of eleven instead of four out of twelve, and now we're at three out of ten. We're at a thirty percent chance of finding another one now. So, so gather, are the invaders. I gather two push one. Uh, let's see. So defend three. I could defend B four with this. That would save a cascade. And then I can push this one. The only there's these two over here. They are building in the mountains. This one has a disease. Yes, yeah, so they won't build there. But I nice. could potentially manifest either there or there. Right. Or I might get or when I reclaim, I could boards of warning it and next turn and defend three is good enough for this. I'm going to put the Dahan in there. Do I want to put it in there? Do I want to stay here? They're ravaging. Uh, defend three won't be good enough for that B7. It's going to have two towns and an explorer. I'll just leave this guy here. Which you can see to... with the new preview function. Whoa! If you hover over the land, it will show you next turn. They will lose an explorer and add two towns. Oh, wait. Aha, look at that happening here is the build yeah the build next turn loses an explorer adds two towns right yeah they're building it's in four lands next the next... <laughs> in the summary the ravage after that four lands eight towns yeah <laughs> also the ravage next turn is five blight plus a cascade <laughs> yeah uh oh <laughs> well i'm gonna be defending one and you're defending one but and you're defending the cascade so yeah it's just scary scene <laughs> yeah but it is saying, if you don't do anything right now, this is what will happen. It's, it's like the uh, tutorial that said, imagine there were no spirits. Here's what would yeah. happen. That would be uh, a very bad game. Oh, yeah. You, you have plus one on that now. That's awesome. You can save that land from being flipped. And maybe the beasts will kill that guy anyways. Ooh, called the bloodshed. Also, growth of sacrifice. 
Call to Bloodshed seems like it's useful for the scenario, but it's really hard to use because it requires the target land to have Dahan. <laughs> It's yes. like, no, I want the Dahan to go there. Not... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I want them in the place without Dahan. Call to Migrate. Now that is the deluxe card for this scenario. Because it actually checks, it flips tokens over in the middle of that card so you can get two with one power with oh, Call really? to Migrate. It doesn't yeah. wait for the action to finish? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it says, it says whenever, so it's... Okay. On the other hand, as a bunch... If I really do want growth to, to sacrifice, um, I'm kind of thinking I should keep drift down into slumber. Yeah, that seems so fine. Here, which is somewhat important to me. All right, it is now turn two. In case we are preparing for the slave rebellion, which. Maybe, as we get closer, we can think about it. All right, so I was thinking of calling Midnight's Dreams, but I didn't get... I only got three Dahan in there, which is still okay. Uh, I do have Tangled Woods, so I can defend another land, like this one. Um, I will be getting you a power card. Okay, I'm just looking to see... So you're defending this loot? I, will uh, be defending I can actually defend both jungles. No, just jungle eight on my board unless I can pull another defense card. Yeah, I can actually defend it with Dark and Tangle Woods because it's range two. And oh, just wow. okay. <laughs> I, it, that I mean, these lands are like this is the stretchy land that connects this one all the way up, right? Like. <laughs> Um, but I so, thought Dark and Tangled Woods was range one. It is bug report. <laughs> this this scenario is going to have so many bug reports because it does so many weird things. Uh, not e and I mean even when it's working right, it's going to have bug reports because it's like, why did they build in the sands when it was empty? Because it's because they had that power. Uh, so this is going to defend in here, and then the yeah, I guess it's Tangled Woods this turn and Midnight Streams for later. Uh, so the question is, do I want to... I think I want to gain a power card so that I can probably uh, play that and Midnight Streams next turn. I'll get another minor power. And Portents of Disaster. Actually okay for this spirit. Fiery Doom, range one, is pretty nice. Is there, but only pushing one thing isn't so good, right? In, uh, with France. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need to push two. Still, it stops town build. That's true. I'm gonna go Portents because I like making fear. And, uh. All we need is applied numerology where every time you use a power, increase or decrease <laughs> the numeral by one. Do you wanna get your card, Seamus? Bernie uh, Forest, razor sharp undergrowth. Add wilds at range one. <laughs> at range one, that uh, that is how you crazy. start. And fire in the sky is just a great card. And push two towns. Lots of good options. Yep. Um, I love the the, the, the root fighters art. Sorry, I'm going with Fire in the Sky because it's most of my elements. And Fast Strife is good. All right, I will carry on with stuff. Uh, oh, man, Call of the Night's Dreams is range one, so I can, like... I can just, like, target wherever your giant army is with <laughs> as long as I stay close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I think it was an unintended order in there. Loot, make a giant army for me. I mean, it'll happen. No, uh, we're not quite there yet, but it's only turn two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move here so I can see at least all the lands on my board at range zero. Uh, 
and Range zero. <laughs> <laughs> and let's play. Yeah, I can only play two cards, and so I think it was. I mean, it doesn't have to be dread operations, but I, if I play these two, I can actually defend down here. And here. And I have defend only two here, but that's enough. So for now. For, well yeah, Ooh, pending the event. Pending uh, event. John, I yep. will be able to prevent D two from uh Oh you can strife it? Yep. Nice. Strife at range one. Yes. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, loot. Or Seamus can finish. I'm not gaining power, so. So I need to shift him to slumber and find the sky. Oh, yeah, you almost hit your damage innate. Yep. So I think here I could do double growth. To two energy. Yeah. Always be double growing. <laughs> and I want to be in lands with Dahan. I want my Dahan army. I want to manifest somewhere. Either between B2 or B7. I guess I could just put. One per Dahan here, and one per Dahan here. <laughs> and then it's equal. Equal and balanced, as everything should be. Fair and balanced. Oh, and you have gather three. So you can bring one of your stacks to flip gather a token. Three, push two. Oh, yeah, Which gather three. Good, yeah. That flips two. So that's great. Okay. Uh... So right now we're at five blight. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, dark and tangled woods. Four blight. Dread apparitions. I guess we'll look at the fear card too. Fear card. Point of right, no we're probably not getting this. Remove an explorer from a coastal land. Boo. Not as good against France. Dread apparitions. You're like, oh, it's still too damage, and it's bad. But now, it's okay. All right. Go Lude or Seamus. Well, mine is... Yeah. That. And how does that work? Like... Oh, I just do that thing. Or not yeah, you just not hover over it. it. Okay, so I have three plus one Blight. And now we have two plus zero blight. Woo! Yeah, and you can use tab to toggle it as well. Well, I don't have keyboard control, so yeah. I can't. <laughs> I was going to turn that back on, but then it, got, it was too late. Just That's say, fine. John, press tab. <laughs> uh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seamus, you clicked the wrong land there. Sorry, I did. Probably I'm not as awake as I thought I was. It's all right. Okay, thank God we didn't click. I mean, you would have just lost a presence. Just a presence. No biggie. Replace one explorer with one town. Well, I mean, they were going to do that anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh my God, yeah, that does nothing. <laughs> uh, I mean, it does make them build a city instead, right? In those lands. Oh, true. Yeah, it does do something. Poop. Uh, so here, I don't want to... Well, let's see what else are they doing. Sometimes it's like, D Dahan, defend one. Defend Invaders do not two. ravage in lands with strife. Okay, so they're not ravaging there, um, just there. Or disease, but there's no disease. Yeah, the strife hangs out, so. Um, and each player may push one explorer slash town from a land with Dahan. Okay. Interesting. So if you, so we can convert... Uh, an explorer to a town in B4 because it's already defended. Yeah, and that's more fear. And I think there's only one choice on this board. Yeah. yeah. But we can push it away. So 
in a second. Uh, for here, I only have two defend, so it's not enough, but I could push it away. Or I could just convert it here and push it away, kind of. Convert it in the sands is probably your best bet. Yeah, I could just leave, just leave it in the sands, which is fine. Um, and yeah, now the pushing, we can get rid of this town that we made here. <laughs> push it. Um, uh, the only place you can push it is the wetlands. I mean, yeah, I can push it here, but I don't want to. Uh, so yeah, actually, we could push it in the wetlands and then push it out of the wetlands if we wanted. But it, if they explore here, they won't add an extra explorer, right? So yeah. there is that. Um, is there anything else notable? Uh, if we push... Oh, I guess they would... We could stop visibility of V8, except we can't because they're building a V7, so... Oh, right. If we push out a V6, it would stop visibility temporarily, but it would come back. And they already explored jungles right. in Stage 1 anyway. Yeah. Um... Well, if nobody has anything better to do, we can push the... No, actually, I don't see where anywhere we could go west of that tree. Yeah, we have two pushes, but there aren't the Han everywhere. We could, like, send a town, like, through here into D2, like, <laughs> the long way. Because uh, they're not ravaging there. But I don't know if that's worth anything. Uh, I think getting the guy out of the wetlands here is probably preferable. Yeah. Um, uh. I don't. Him into sand seven. I think yeah. I think I'd rather him be in there than be in the wetland with this with the location. And you're probably gonna kill this guy anyways, loot. I imagine. With your. Uh, I mean, I was probably going to use manifest in B seven. Right, but lead the furious. Oh, the furious. Yeah, yeah. So he's kind of, just there. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, they're not like all. None of the mountains have Dahan. Oh, there's this Dahan. This guy, he, he can also move. We stop the build. Oh, yay! Yeah, but I'm not sure where to move him to because if they explore into wetlands now, there'll be no town there, so they'll put in two mm. guys. So right. I think we're better off leaving him there to build. Or we can gamble that. That A5 has nothing. It's a 70% chance. Well, I mean, yeah, it's 50-50. They go there, and it's... I don't know. I I mean, versus him just having a town here, that's okay. Yeah. I guess uh, here is actually, too much damage. Uh, if you move the guy in A1 into A2, it'll stop a build. I can't, because there's no Dahan there. Okay, it's... Glow, it's glowing there for some reason. This is glowing for a place to, to move this guy. Oh, right. yeah. Which we could, but then they'll just search that spot. Um, Yeah, I think just leaving everything where it is at this point. Yeah. That's fine. And yeah, no blight at all on the Ravage, so that's great. I guess I could have sent this guy because he was going to still be alive into here, into A2. Does that make sense? Yeah. Just like collect them up together. Oh, well, let me go back. So, okay. That just went back to the ravage. Yeah. Yeah, he can't rewind any. Further. It should have gone back to the decision, but it didn't. So. And it's look, terrible game design. Extra towns. Literally extra, unplayable. Literally unplayable. Extra towns. They explore oh, the wetlands anyway. Explore wetlands. Okay. When they explore into there, a French zombie comes up out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go ahead? 
Right, so I will be revealing things with my thing. And things. So, destroy a town happens here. Uh, they did explore there, sadly. But then we gather here. Uh, I probably should just take my army with me. Come along for the ride. And oh my gosh, we're revealing. Wow. Ooh, a leather uh -huh. sack with its mouth sewn shut. So we get to choose a land and remove everything in it from the game uh, at any point I that we want. Eight, so then I'm kidding. I vote B5 right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we are going to push these two. Oh, I thought you would push them in. I guess, yeah, B4, you could oh, I see what you're saying. reveal I a thing. B4, B4. It's, I mean, oh, they're not going to, they're not going to get it, yeah. so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Because I do need to be able to deal with this problem. Yeah. You have enough Dahan movement, and they're not going to flip B4 on us, so. And they're not going to flip it before we can. Hey! Now John's <laughs> getting in on the action. Right, so this power has plus one range and plus one range, so it's at range three. Um, yeah, Keeper has a lot of spread. Is there anywhere... Actually, there is somewhere I can put that that'll actually do some good. Yeah, B6, right? I go here. Where do I pull it, push this guy to? Maybe the Sands. Sands is probably better. I think so I can... If it's a, the problem is with, the if it was a B1, they build extra towns, right? So you can't, we don't want that. All right, it's turn three. Is it? Or did we, did we miss a turn in my, our turn counting? No, turn three. Okay. All so, right, I am going to be reclaiming and gaining two powers. Unless you want me to have an empty hand for a turn. Which I do want that. I require it. I will start with a minor. Hmm. 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 No animal. Push okay. up three Dahan. Oh yeah, right to land rejection is really good for this scenario. I just ignore the first part. <laughs> Push your army three. Mm -hmm. So what was my plan for playing? It was going to be sudden ambush and B one to stop that build potentially, which means I have one extra energy. Uh, no animals here, by the way. Yeah, uh, it's actually all of those are pretty lousy for your. Uh... Lord of the Unknown's good. It's got air and fire. Yeah, suns. I need a little more sun than fire, though. But Lur's generally good. Except it only gathers one. Yeah, it's not as good in this with this adversary. So I think I take right rights for even more Dahan shenanigans and chicanery and tomfoolery. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I really can afford a major right now, so I'll take another minor. Ooh, confounding mists. Where's ocean when you need them? Hmm. There is an animal. Purifying flame is very good for your elements. Yeah, it works better for... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't give me the animal, but it does give me sun, fire, air. <clears throat> Am I likely to use it? One damage per blight. Mountain sand, remove a blight. I don't have any blade in mountains do we in my board and sands oh. and seamus's board okay and the damage per blight isn't based off sands or mountains it's just the yeah remove yeah 
And it's range two. <laughs> okay. Um... And then I'll figure out. Uh, so if you guys want to do your things. Yeah, you're gaining powers, Seamus. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I may need to reclaim this turn. Yeah, I've... Ravage is not terrible. We've got couple of three damages and b2 and the cascade on my board's the worst one uh, i'm going to reclaim and do i want another power card no i want to be placing presents because i want some energy Okay, John, if you want to go ahead. All right. Are you going to be making a land with more than three Dahan? Loot? Yeah, I'm partially uh, thinking of um, pushing into B4 to get that, maybe. Although that doesn't seem productive towards ravage or build goals well it gets the thing mm -hmm. um if they add a couple of blight they add a couple of blight it's not too bad um i could get go for reclaim one and defend this pretty easily with portents of disaster and um the one that does that but then I wouldn't be playing Colin Midnight's Dreams now, would I? Um, five damage. Midnight's and Apparitions gets me three defend, which is not enough. Hmm. Oh, but I get an extra moon. That gets me four defend, which is enough. Okay. So I think what I'm doing is this. Pop another sacred site. Oh, and I also get a free element for someone. Oh. And a major. So... Basically, I mean, if it's not the end of the world, like if you don't make something with um, four to Han, it's just one more energy for me, basically. But I have a spot with three, which is pretty good. If so, you give me an air, I can. I play an air, then I can make my power fast. Which I can gather four into a land. <laughs> So I can get six Dahan and be four. Cool. That would be nice. And hopefully I get a super cool power. I guess they are um, going to build in land number five there right now unless two to Han can be pushed into there or the explorers remove explorers are removed somehow Can't stop both those um, uh, words. Fame. Ravages. That's okay. Ravages. I wasn't uh, expecting that we would. I mean, if you don't want to stop either of them, I think that's fine. 
Well, no, fire in the sky is useful anyway. Sure. It's an you fear. Oh yeah, we actually also. Hang on. How many, how many things can we stop by adding a strafe to a town three times? Both of these. I mean, also these. So I don't have to do that, but I can still do it. Um. Actually, yeah, that. I mean, I still, I still need to defend that somehow. So dread operations is fine. Um, but actually, yeah, so we do, you don't even need to play fire in the sky <laughs> Okay. if you don't want to, because we have enough strife to deal with both of those. So what you could do, you have sacrosanct, right? The one that pushes two Dahan and yeah. deals damage based on wilds. You could push the two from B7 into A5. And, and flip we'll the have thing. Dahan in there. And instead of taking Dahan from B7 for the 6, I could take from D7. Sure. Yeah, one card to the left, Seamus. That's the one that we're talking about, the Sacrosanct Wilderness. Sorry. Do what? Put you sacrosanct on B seven to push the two Dahan into A five, and then we get that mysterious location. That's fine with me. Oh, I'm and you get it. you get damage. Yeah. <laughs> you punish those who trespass. Plus, plus towering wrath. Yeah, that's true. Range one to trespass all the time. All right, so I need to play some air somewhere. Ooh, push four. Ooh, push four, you say. So I can explore B2. Nice. All right, and I will give you an air. Seems like a plan. All right, so I need to do things in some order. Uh, I guess this first for the fear card. Hmm, actually... Let's see if you have a different card play you want to do before I do that. Yeah, you have to call Midnight Streams of the Last. Right, yeah. So give me the error. Yeah, I want to do that last because I lose it, right? I, f I mean, I don't yeah. have to lose it, but I probably lose it, so... Uh, so we'll look at the fear card. Uh, each town destroys... Explorer, each city destroys two explorers. Okay, and you want air. And then I want to use my dread apparitions. I mean, well, if you want to, are you revealing a token now? Um, I guess yeah. Seamus was going to, so. If I gather this one, gather that, kills that, and then I gather here. And I take these, and I take those. Oh, I could take from D6, too. Didn't realize that was adjacent. Do you need Dahan and D7 for any reason? Nope. I don't need them particularly anywhere, so. Okay. Actually, would it be better to keep them there? Because it's closer to D8. Oh, right. But then I guess he wants some for D four. I don't. I don't know. We'll just yeah. You can you can move them really far all the time. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nothing, and you can also really? move. I actually want to leave them here because that's more energy for me. If that's okay. Yeah. So finish pushing, and that's me. Right. Seamus is gonna flip a token. Move this. Before they do, do you want and take to... me, take me, hmm. take me on. The source of power, take it is on me. nothing. Good thing they didn't get nothing. All right, uh, then I need to do this. Make them scared in their beds. 
And, oh no, we're getting three blight. We're actually not. Actually, there we're is one blight. The one in B2, There's the yeah. one blight. Unless my major That's power is awesome. So let's see. Volcanic eruption. <laughs> uh, I do not have presence in a mountain. So I can't actually use that this turn. Mist of Oblivion is awful for you. Just it is, <laughs> yeah. Unless actually, it's not bad with the with the threshold, but it's not like worth. It's not even worth it though. I think the thing is, and this has come up repeatedly, it needs to actually destroy. It can't yes. fake destroy. So. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, Pillar of Living Flame is range three. It's true. That is range three, and very scary for the invaders. I can push away like everything they make in a normal France build. Uh, it does add Blight. Volcanic Eruption, I can't, I don't destroy Dahan and Beasts, right? Um, I don't know about the Beasts. You don't destroy Dahan, I'm not sure about Beasts. No, I can't destroy anything um, other than your own presence, including boards. Oh, okay. So even okay. if you cast down and say destroy a board... Uh, you don't, because <laughs> what I could do, oh my God. I really want Volcanic Eruption, because just think of how much fear that is, and how awesome that is. Are you in a mountain? Uh, I am not in a mountain, but I could play it next turn. Okay. Um... Destroy all invaders in each adjacent land 10 damage. I mean, I'm not going to get to that threshold on that anytime soon, probably. It's just so tempting. It's so big. It's probably not worth it. Uh, Entwined power is like the nice, safe choice. Yeah, but have you ever been nice? No. And I will not be. I want Living Flame and Volcanic Eruption and play them both on every turn. <laughs> I do like the elements on Mists. Yeah, it is good elements for you, unfortunately. And it's easier for me to get the Threshold. And it's actually pretty okay with the Threshold because you can be like... You don't get the bonus fear, but you still like destroy three towns or whatever. And move away a lot of explorers. So it's not so bad. Hmm. I guess I'll take Living Flame. Do I want to use it this turn? I guess so. I'm not excited about it, though. It's okay. All right. Turn three. Turn three. Event card. Towns and cities have plus one health because they're jerks. Each beast destroys an explorer. Well, that stops a town. Uh, add one Dahan to a coastal land with Dahan. Does that matter anywhere? I guess here there's a decision between A2 and A3. Uh, Maybe. The wetland. Oh yeah, so that this event is coming up next turn. So uh, add strife to a town. Invaders with strife take one damage per Dahan. So that kills the town that they're gonna build here. Actually, but they're not building. So we can <laughs> we can think about that. Actually, so we should put it here, right? Because the Dahan will attack the town with strife. And there weren't any here. And a surprise fear card. So actually, with that, oh, no. with that, invaders with strife take one damage per Dahan. So we put the strife on this city, and the Dahan will attack it, if we could. But it's a town, I guess we can't. Yeah. Just thinking about how to how to combo that, but is it in every land that that happens? Like. All invaders with strife take one damage per Dahan, like everywhere. Yeah. 
so, so, so we want to strafe. We want to strafe these guys to avoid blight. But then we have a bonus one that we could put somewhere with a town where there's Dahan, which there aren't any here, but there there used to be. Oops. There could be still, right? There you have Voice be, of Thunder, yeah. right? Like, yeah. And you have nowhere else to go with Voice of Thunder. I guess you're gonna go here. But yeah, mm. I don't know. So I'm just thinking of like, is there anywhere else that like Matt makes a difference? You're probably killing these towns, Seamus, I imagine. <laughs> um, slowly, but yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's not uh, usually Dahan uh, there. So I think one of these towns is probably the best option anyway. You can maybe pop a couple Dahan in. Maybe between us, we can get a couple Dahan in there. Or at least one Dahan. Like. Yeah. If there's two Dahan in there, they will kill lots of towns. So that's nice. It just needs to be two. Right. Yeah. Because each invader takes damage. Uh, the Dahan. Yeah. This town won't get killed here, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Back into the mountains. So they're definitely getting this thing. The invaders are hunting down rumors oh, of a coveted so prize. For, so much for B2 then. I guess I'm pushing into D something else. It's nothing. <clears throat> right. So there's going to be a, a blight in land A or port A. Also France. So so they if we click here, they do search that right away. Yeah. If we click here, they cascade. Mm -hmm. The devil's bargain. Um, here, I think so we add a town, left? right? We... It was two out of nine. Two. So it's two out of eight left. I think. And here... Um, there's going to be a blight, whichever you prefer, Seamus, I guess. <laughs> no, six. two out of six. six. Yeah. So it's a 33% chance that they find something. Are we going to get there before they search it in the build phase? I guess is the question. Mm. I guess I could living flame them. So <laughs> I could make sure they don't search it with living flame. Worst comes the worst. I can write of rejection or something. Is that a land with Dahan it needs to be? Yeah. Yeah. No, I could just living flame there. Like the powers are good enough and bad enough if they get them that I'm fine sort of taking a using that for that. So yeah. I'm and I'm fine taking the cascade for this. So we have five blight. Be so terrified of blight. <laughs> now I'm like, yeah, cascade, that's fine, no problem. It's no fine. Biggie. Yeah, so I think living flame here, unless yeah, you you could bring these three to Han into there right now, actually. I could, if you want. Um, and then I could living flame like this, <laughs> for example, or a wetland which does add blight. What do you think? Uh, well, if you can't deal with, hmm. okay, what's the other power I got? Well, I can't take the mouse right now, so Seamus, okay, Seamus can go first while we think about it. That's the defend, defend three one. My other fast power. Yeah, like, I mean, if I'm fine to let just let them add one blight to D1, and if you take the Dahan out, they don't kill the Dahan, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, emptying out A6 is probably worth killing a Dahan. 
Yeah, it stops the city on the next turn. And it's only if invaders destroy Dahan that I get sad. Yeah. Yeah, if you're worried, I mean, think punish trespass on A6 is pretty good, Seamus. Unless you wanted to use it somewhere else. On A6, it's killing the Dahan there, but well, people are right with that. I think it's worth yeah. it to, like, completely stop the build, right? Actually, it doesn't completely stop it, but it stops the city. Stupid yeah. bonus health. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yep. so voice of thunder here. To push. I think that's we worthwhile. Card anyway. And we Especially find... if it's something good. Oh. Each spirit gains plus two energy during any spirit phase. They do not reclaim any cards. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're probably going to turn that on. So we also still have this, which I'm thinking about D5. <laughs> D5 doesn't seem like a bad choice for that. I'm going to use this. Uh, we don't have to decide it right now. When you don't reclaim, oh my god. We're yeah, now it's, sitting at millions of energy. That's interesting. Because I can just gain a power instead of reclaiming, too. Uh, so I could Living Flame these guys. Like, if we're... Do you think, like... Do you want to use the Leather Sack on D5? It's a pretty reasonable place to use it. The only, the, the only reason why I'd be eerie about using it is it removes the Blight from the game. Right. But, but like, you, we don't have that much Blight removal anyway, so. I mean, I, I have Blight removal. <laughs> but yeah, well, he said not much. So. I do hmm. too, but I haven't used it yet. Yeah. And yours doesn't work on, yours is only on jungle, isn't it? Jungle wetlands. Yeah. And Ludes would work there on mountain. Um, We can all, we don't have to, we can decide like just before they ravage it or something, right, as well, so. Because also, yeah, because we could... not going to stop visibility of anything. If, if we put Dahan into there, then, like, the Slave Rebellion, right? So, yeah. like, actually, Slave Rebellion right here is really good. Uh, if we put Strife on those two towns... Well, it's one per board. On each board, add Strife. But we have other ways of adding Strife, right? Like, uh, yeah. we've got this yeah. card. Um, Maybe that's it. I thought you we had another card. Maybe we don't. That was an event, I guess, or a fear card that did it for us. Also, we have remove yeah. an explorer from a coastal land, if that matters, which it maybe it doesn't really. Anyways, we can try to organize our uh, strife to make sense. So, I guess, so is it worth hitting this with Living Flame or like just making this land? We don't have to worry about it at all. I think it's probably better, right? Well, so with the event, that town could be destroyed if there's two Dahan in there. Yes. If I get Dahan in there. So Then they would build a town anyways, though, right? True. So, I mean, you could do that with Unless other... I write the land of rejection there. But, yeah. Um, kind of a waste... Then again, they do build a town, but then I will probably have my destroyed yeah. town date. And the this is add strife to right, it's add strife to a town. Seamus has add strife to anything, which is nice. Yeah. So we could like target a city with that somewhere if we can get three Dahan into a place. This one already has a strife on it, so just like putting two more Dahan in here kills that city. Or putting one more strife on that city. Uh, no, that's not how it works. Uh, invaders with strife take one damage per Dahan. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Add one Dahan per town city this destroys. So you need two Dahan for towns, three Dahan for cities in the land. Strife on B2 could be, uh, good too for that. 
yeah, if we put the Han in there. I mean, here, oh, yeah. like, literally... I'm, I'm stretched thin for all of this. In this stuff. land, we need just one more Dahan, but they're not nearby. It's kind of the problem. The yeah. Dahan are, are really clustered around Lude's presence. That's weird. <laughs> weird. Weird, huh? I mean, you could send them sort of flying with your abilities to different areas. We also have more, you know, symbols to uncover. One more. There's one more treasure, right? That has not been found. And there are four spaces left to look at. Uh, one, two, three. What's one up? Four. D three. as well. D three. D three. Oh yeah, they're all clustered over here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I can potentially hit two of them if I can get all my heirs and sons in order. Yeah, I think next turn I'm probably going to gain a card, and if it's good, like I'll probably get a major, and if I like it, I'll play it. If not, I'll reclaim one, but I'd rather get the free energy. Just thinking of where I want to Pillar of Living Flame, really. Yeah. Their plus one health hard. is really annoying because, like, this is seven health up here now. If it was just five, then that would be worth the blight, I think. But I'm just going to leave. do it just on B2 and take out a city and explorer. It leaves one, but the next fear card removes an explorer from a coastal. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. I accept your logic. Because I actually I don't destroy the city, because I'm me. Oh, just true. so you know. But hey, it's still five. It is a lot of fear, and the card is going to. It's actually going to upgrade this to be remove explorer slash town from coastal land. Yeah. And actually, that's pretty good. That clears out a lot of the explorers on the board that are going to build extra or do extra things. I'm okay with that. It it does not solve this problem or anything, but we're just going to generate fear because I'm a scary, scary one. Uh, I'm going to send these guys into the jungle with you, I guess. They could go on the yeah. coast. I guess they could just go hang out in the sands on the coast where they're easier to deal with. Or, yeah. That. Uh, it's just one anyway. Yeah, All right. Just throw Fred into B3. We should start giving the explorer's name. So I'm going to gain a power card. I'm going to get a major and hope it's cool and goes well with this. And add a presence to go to four energy, probably. I think. Blight. Uh, blight. Four blight. Right now, blighting the island, but with the, Daha with the slave rebellion, we can make sure that these two towns die, right? Just literally by putting the two strife on them. Yep. Actually, so we so I do have a defend. So if you put strife on one, it dies. And then the defend with the Dahan kills everything else in that land. Sure. But I mean the more the more that they kill with the slave rebellion, the more Dahan get made. Yeah, but it's still only one per board that you can put strife on unless you're planning on uh, oh, that's yeah. Well, right. Strife. I am not, but yeah, that, I guess yeah. So that is, that would be required, I guess. So one per board is one here, and one I guess here stops a blight, even though there's no Dahan. Or it could go here if we can if we can get two Dahan fast into this, yeah, which is so on my board. Do, yeah, if I can push four out of. Actually, you can use D4. this to push three, so. True. But if I can get two into D7 and two into B7, that takes out, like, a lot of towns. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we strafe that. I mean, if, if strafe it just for the that, basic, for the that, slave rebellion, yeah. 
the, the strife has to happen there for board B. Oh, that's the only town, <laughs> right? Well, it's the only my town there good. right now. Guys problem is I'm doing good with my lands. Huh. I guess I could have I could have used my fire damage here and sent the towns into here <laughs> with all the Dahan. Mm. That's funny. Uh, uh, John, what you were saying about facing presence, you might want to consider starting going along your car place track because we're not getting extra energy from not reclaiming. Yeah. I'm not sure how that tracks. When you play more cards, you have to reclaim more. Yeah. But you're also getting two extra energy this turn that you might not have been accounting for. But I can get more major cards. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, but if you get more major cards, you also have to reclaim more often because you don't have a volume of cards. <laughs> I do what I want. I'm tsunamiing everything. Vigor of the Breaking Dawn. Send your Dahan to places for me. Uh, Can you potentially somehow accidentally get three sons and two animals. That doesn't seem ha like it's happening. I can almost I don't have an any I can't get to my any if I had my any then I would have it because I would make yeah. my any be a moon and I could choose uh sun and also get an animal from this uh I'm steal for a second to click out okay uh so yeah if you had that any it would work you're not having it this turn but it could be really nice to have yeah i mean i'm gonna take i'm gonna take vigor anyways because it works really well yep uh because i want an animal and like i want that anyways uh, goodbye, Dark and Tangled Woods. You are the weakest link. Uh, yeah, I want the any, and this is the cl fastest I can get to the any, so that's why I'm going that way. And also, that's I like energy. Anyway. Uh, range Wait, three, bigger of the Breaking Dawn. <laughs> so I was probably thinking of using it here so that they don't build there. Unless we have yeah, a better fair. thought of where that could go. I mean, obviously, if these armies were somewhere where they could do something, that would be a, another matter. Also, I could use it here, which would do six damage, which would just scare these guys away away from the Dahan. So the yeah, Slave Rebellion wouldn't work. Kind of dealt with. Yeah, I already have. We already have that sorted. So I think this land here is probably where I would use it. Unless there was, yeah, I guess here is a lot of fear by the city being destroyed. Um, but stopping that super build there is nice, I think. There's also this, but we're thinking of using the leather sack there, I think, still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not like, we can just wait until next turn for that really anyways. I was hoping to find a major that would just deal with it, but haven't come across it yet. Uh, so presence at range one. It's funny, like it doesn't actually matter as much where I put my presence because of these the range boost we have. Normally, I'm thinking of like oh range zero stuff. Yeah, seven will give you massive extra. Uh, yeah, it gives a lot of visibility as long as we don't let them kill me, which is probably not that hard. Yeah, I think we can get that sorted. All right, and I will use Portents of Disaster somewhere. We're going to destroy an invader, which is not going to be by my hand, but by someone else's hand. It was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. Oh, I guess scapegoats will will earn it <laughs> for us. Um, I'm going to be uh, getting a major power. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm I'm thinking for a second before oh, sure. you do that, but if I get to that sun, are you gonna? You, you don't have that threshold. That's no. sad. 
I am. That's why I need that any so I can get the moon. I don't have the, enough air to make my power fast either. If I can get the three card plays. If I get the three card plays, I have the air. Play these. This is fast. I still. I'm not gonna. Or no, we're getting super energy. Yeah, you're actually getting plus four. More plus four, so I could play these three. And then this gives a defend that I'm throwing here. I have three sun. Yeah, the thing is I can't get enough Dahan in the places where I want them to be. All right, go, Seamus. You can go fast with your innate, though, right? So you can get them in some decent places. I wanted to be able to push four was the problem. I can only push three. Um, mm. One five. No plant, one air. Why couldn't I have terrifying nightmares? That's that like literally your card. I wouldn't have had an animal though. Bringer of dreams and terrifying nightmares. Uh. These are basically all my cards. Not exactly, but they all, I'd be happy to take any of them. Uh, Savage Transformation, I'd be like, I will be getting that threshold. I actually wouldn't be too happy with these cards, honestly. Uh, I have an air, and that's, or two air cards. Winds of Rust has uh, air and animal for you. It has an animal, yay! Sure. I'm going going, these are awful for me. <laughs> Well, you have Tormenting Rot Flies. That works with Winds of Rust. I think I will take Winds of Rust just for the defense sakes. I think it you can actually get that. Once you can play more cards, on. you can actually get the threshold on that with the cards you have. Without too much difficulty. Yes, I'm using the yeah, keeping power stop. That's fine. Uh, uh, come on. Two, three card plays. Three, three card plays. A five is screwed. <laughs> three sacred sites around it. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> Uh, that gives me defense for a two. I would also, um, if you then strife the town in a two, the Dahan will kill it from the event. Yeah. So, um, that's good. Light. Or we just let the defend kill it. That's fine too. Uh, I'm gonna grab another beer. Okay, that's me done, dude. Okay. It's definitely double growth. Uh, uh. Time for a nun on the run. Green I have ale. no idea how many how many presents I have in this land. Oh, I have three. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just add more to that, I guess. Yeah, you don't have to count your giant stack. You can pull it up. John, the... Yeah, if I use this to push three, the problem is this isn't fast now. 
Yeah, you can you can push three fast, or and hear me out, you can push three fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can yeah, gather you can fast. gather four, right? If you have four air, you you can by definition gather four, and it's at range plus one. So gather warriors can. But I guess you want to like. Oh, you want you want the 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 three the four sons as well. I want to be able to have two Dahan in B seven and two Dahan in D seven is the goal. Problem is I can't. Do they touch? All of that they thing. don't quite. Do they? No. No. D six and B four touch, but not otherwise. And I probably want to manifest in B7. Right. So you want four suns so you can push out of D6 for the Hans, but that's not possible. Nope. Yeah. I don't think it is meant to be. If I'm defending there, I have damage or blight removal somewhere. Cool. And then I have this, and I have it gather the warriors. Well, hmm. no, but it's still silly because we put the strife here. Two Dahan in there turns into a third Dahan. They build a town. Still have to put two Dahan in there, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you can do is pile into d7 and d8 and then you can use your other your uh lead the furious to destroy all the towns they build in d8 and i can use vigor somewhere else if you want yeah or like i mean when i use vigor it just pushes things anyways right so <laughs> right or you could you could pile into d5 for example, with the push part. Like, gather a bunch into D7, push into D5. We don't get the benefit of, like, the strife on multiple things, right? But... It's another option. And actually, I could use Vigor on D5 and send all of those guys somewhere actually no actually, so if i use vigor okay. on d7 i can send a town into b4 to get strife on it to get killed uh, <laughs> right i'm rethinking my presence placement for a second um i just wanted to make sure you heard what i said there that so, i can send yeah. the, i can send uh the towns out of d7 into b4 for you if there's dahan there oh. Right? By scaring them. <laughs> oh, so, a bit of a... so there needs to be Dahan in there for Vigor to work. And there also needs to... Uh... Right, but what I'm saying is you don't need to have as many. Like, you can push... As long as you push two Dahan into there, then I can send the towns back to you. So you can, right, potentially do more that way. I don't know if that helps or not, but that's... No, because I still I have to get two in here and two in here for that to really work out. But like, I can still send you a town to get a strife on it, so we still end up like not wasting it, right? Yeah. Like, so what about the town in B seven specifically? I can send you the town from D7. You can send me the town that doesn't have strife to, into B4. Yeah. So we can strife and then we can strife a town on D3 and avoid a blight instead. Like, that's fine. Okay. So, like, we, we end up, like, the, the point was, like, not wasting a strife, right? That B7 would get yeah. a strife and it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. So, it makes it harder for me to deal with B7, but... I guess there's also going to be a town in B2, if that means anything. Because they're, they're going to build there. Oh, wait, but that happens after the event and everything, doesn't it? So that doesn't help. 
Yeah. <laughs> Forget that. Yeah, so how about we strife the town after they How about we time travel? <laughs> It's a bit of a complicated thing. I'm thinking of putting the presents in D8 so that I don't actually need to push into that and I could just immediately manifest in there. So I think that makes sense because I could just deal with right. that like that. So then... Then I push two into D7. This is gather four, push three. Does that make any difference? No. They're ravaging D1, but I don't think we can deal with that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be... I think, I think your plan yeah. makes sense. If you want your guys to be, like, over here more, you could use it on, like, D6 so that you, like, get more Dahan over here overall, mm -hmm. potentially. Two into uh, D7, one into D4, and then, like, next turn do a lot. All right, if we're happy, I can go ahead with Spirits May at Dream. I think I'm happy. Okay. I mean, I don't have to use that power, but it seems good. Uh, each player, we're not going to get that, but we are going to get that, too. So we're just killing a lot of explorers, which is nice. Uh, so I need you to do your thing first. Okay. So we need to finish with two in here. So I'm going to gather in here. This is gather four. How many do We only need two left in here for the strife to kill them all. Yeah. Then again, well, yeah, I'm going to bring my stack. But two in here. Then I can get one in here. You can put one in there, start working on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come along for the ride. I don't need to be in D7, I don't think. Okay. Then I what will... Serious assault. Is that going to change anything? No. Really? Or not really, but it's not changing anything, right? I need to have two Dahan in the place for it to do something. No, uh, yeah. Okay. Four damage. Run away. I actually need the Furious as range two, or range one. So yeah. Could you can use it in lots of places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But words of warning. Uh, whoops, sorry, I hit the wrong thing. Words of warning! There. Okay, and uh, so... Where is an invader going to be destroyed in a target land? I guess not in the fast phase, but they're going to be uh, destroyed here for sure, right? Yeah, that's be four. What was that, Seamus? I was about to say uh, A5. 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 Definitely A5. Right. Uh, I mean, there's lots of places where they're going to be destroyed. Unless there's something that comes up and says they won't ravage, but there's still the Slave Rebellion was going to happen, right? So. Uh, and Night Terrors. In a land range zero with invaders, like that one. <laughs> totally range zero. All right. Go ahead, Jameis. Uh, we're getting a free strife there already from the event. So there's oh, no yeah. point to doing that. Okay. Uh. So somewhere where there's Dahan, where A2 there's was the two, at least two Dahan. So either A2 or, well, A2 is going to get killed by the Ravage anyways. Yeah. I guess he is already... Like, I if I stick it into A5, it'll stop that virus because it's only defend three at the moment. Well, so the event, either the event or fire in the sky needs to put a strife in A5. 
Yeah. No matter which. I mean, it's still worth doing there because of the bonus to Han we get, right? So. And you could just save Lead the Furious for later, or. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's a land with Dahan. We definitely there. have not anticipated this thing happening. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So it doesn't really matter which one. I guess it matters where you want the Dahan, which is probably more where Thunderspeaker is. Or do you, I guess if there's three here, that is convenient for the neighboring lands. So is here okay? Yeah. Either or. I'm fine. Okay. And here for the Blight. And here for the Eating. And all the damage. Free to Han. And, fear card and also, three. we got fear card number three. <laughs> uh, we can gather into coastal land, defend in coastal lands. Okay. That can stop a build. That means we're probably going to be able to stop the uh, Ravage in D1 as well. All right. So we had... I don't like that this... Event card disappears when it gets those cards. damage when ravaging in lands with presence. Uh oh. Uh, well, Spend that means this is three damage in this land right now. But actually, there's a fear card coming up, right? That says this. Oh, okay. It's a bit better. But it's still plus three damage, <laughs> so it's a bit better, but yeah. not. A little bit better. But we can gather away the guys because of this. So we will be able to do that. And also you can use a power. So you can just oh, yeah, destroy the town right now if you want. Power fast. Uh, yeah, only you because you're the only one who had the right amount of Dahan. If you like, you may. Each spirit with three Dahan amongst its lands. How do I have three Dahan amongst my lands? Weird. Where's the Dahan? Um, okay, so... Yeah, that's the place. That's the trouble spot. If the, if the explorer deals plus one damage, that's okay. There's no other place for lead the furious even after the build, right? Because yeah, is that the the only ravage where it's changing anything is right here. Uh, no presence here. Like, that's fine. Zero damage. It's just that one that's blighting. Well, well, yeah. that we that one was blighting anyways. Yeah. Um. But it doesn't have presence, so it wasn't <laughs> it was unaffected. Yeah. yeah, all right. So I'll just leave the Furious there to fix that problem. Okay. Remove an explorer slash town from a coastal land. Well, we can stop this build. Yep. Seems good. Uh, uh, oh, we could stop this Ravage up here by each of us removing town, right? Uh, we only need to remove one town because there's going to be a defend two in there from defend two in all coastal lands all right okay so one town and i mean actually you might as well because yeah there's no better candidate anyways <laughs> so <laughs> may as well get rid of the town unless yeah it does i guess i don't know does it doesn't really do anything does it yeah so I guess yeah. he would have destroyed the explorer. <laughs> Bye, explorers. Always. Gather into a coastal land. Right. So, uh, we could stop this build, but you want them to build. Yeah, I'm manifesting there. We could stop this build by bringing these two towns into here. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, is not next to a coastal land. So I think th these guys Isn't make sense. Isn't he next to C1 or A1, whatever it is? Oh, no, yeah, A3. That's true, yeah. A3. Do you want to bring him from there? That makes sense. I mean, or that guy, but this guy's building a city, right? So. Quite a ravage you've got there.
well, we're back. We were down to like eight towns left, and now we have 15, 13 towns left. 11 towns left. Okay, fine, France. Be that way. <laughs> and jungle with the escalation, and that's going to produce a blight in board A. But it can go where there's no presence. So a blight here, unless you want to lose presence, Seamus. Nope. <laughs> and a uh, town in probably where the Dahan are. Yeah. And yeah, make a town here. All right. If only you had a way to deal damage based on blight. Not that it's very much damage. One damage probably better to I remove can do the blight. One. <laughs> we would stop one of the towns from building in B4. Uh, yeah, manifest is just still going to happen here for reasons. That's a good reason. We're pretty good on the wrap. We have two cascades next turn, but we are. Oh, you could stop a cascade by removing blight if you wanted to. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Because I don't foresee being able to deal with B. I am reclaiming, but... Uh, is there anywhere I can use that to stop a build? You can stop a bonus town, but not a build entirely, I don't think. I guess rot flies can stop a build, except they're not building in those land types. <laughs> those are the exact wrong the exact wrong land types for our current situation. Yep. Uh, it's still like th potentially three fear. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any disease on the board, so that's wrong. Sons or wetlands. Sons or wetlands with invaders, if or. If you want to add fear. It's more fear if there's invaders. And blight. Yeah. But adding disease is good too, so. Um. I guess if we're going to add disease, I would suggest adding it where there aren't Dahan because event cards can damage them from the disease. Yeah, I'm just looking at there's nowhere to be able to get three fear off the card. Yeah, I think just two, maybe. Yeah, none of the wetlands have blight, and one of the sands has blight, but no invaders. Though you could probably push an explorer into a land with blight. Except yeah. maybe you can't target a, an explorer with that next to blight. <laughs> because <laughs> all the places with explorers next to that blighted sands have blight. <laughs> Dang, Dang it. it. No. <sighs> I remember we were going to remove D5. We were, but then we just scared them away <laughs> <laughs> actually yeah literally the fear cards moved them right <laughs> yeah 20 before they could build that's why i was like let's not like worry about using that on there right now let's we can see what happens and then turned out to be not a problem all right i will be reclaiming as will i all right uh i am likely to be reclaiming as well I can play major powers. What am I doing? That's a good question. We have two blight, one cascade. So this is the cascade, and that's just a blight. I assume we can defend for three. Uh, when does uh, the Slave Rebellion come back? Draw another one, then return this to the event deck as per setup. So, so 
three turns. Sorry. Is yeah. Under the top three cards, so we're basically on turn one right now. Right. We're not going to remember that. We'll probably win before it, but um, it does that. So if we remember when that's going to come up, we'll get there. Uh, do I want a major or a minor? I do. I mean, I could always forget, like, this one. It's kind of the weak link, usually. Indomitable Claim! Tigers hunting, sun and moon. What do I need for this? That? I need tigers Ooh. hunting? <laughs> Indeed. I do like claim for oh. the presence acceleration. Instruments of their own ruin is also a lot of fun. They're currently building in A8, and that is one of the last uh, undiscovered mysterious land things. But I think I can potentially push three Dahan into that. In the fast? Well, you definitely can, literally with this. So. True. Yeah. Uh, instruments of their own ruin just like obliterates that land, which is kind of fun. Um, by having them kill each other. But do they kill each other? <laughs> I mean, you are the bringer of dreams and nightmares. They envisioned that they killed each other, and that's yeah. Them. They don't quite because this city. Oh, that's true. They they do imagine that they kill each other. They they dream it. <laughs> they don't quite get the the city, which is the the big fear. That wouldn't quite work. There's Ooh. also unrelenting growth, which is hilarious. Yes, yes, it is. And I'm going. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm placing all the wild tokens I want. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That one's fun. Uh, it is kind of like win more card. On really, like, if you can take a card and four energy to play this, you're winning more, which is fine. Uh, it's really not my elements, but it's that's okay. If I take Tiger's Hunting, I don't get my any. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I still have the problem with this where I am short the sun and I can't get it, right? Yeah, because you're not putting the presence down. Yeah. If I take this, it's slow, though, so I can't get the, the any element fast enough. Beasts. Beasts are good. I mean, it's kind of fun to go into sun and animals. So I'm going to take that, I think. I don't know. I want more expensive cards that do more. Is there another place for instruments of their own ruin to do something? It's like fine. It like does some stuff here. But the city it remains. Would. It pushes a. It doesn't do enough fear. Sorry. It would push the town and explore away. They would build a town next. Yeah. If you did it next turn, well, they're going to build a city. There is the problem. Oh, but if you if, if you wait for it for next turn and they build the city and then you strife it and push the two towns and explore away and then we don't have to worry about the ravage. Yay. But. Oh right, that's true. So I could take it and and not use it yet. That seems fine. I like it. I want to get rid of this one. It has animal on it, but when am I getting into three card plays? Like, never, so. <laughs> you could have been to three card plays if you went down the card plays track, like Seamus suggested. <laughs> uh, I can scare away all these guys with Vigor of the Breaking Dawn. Okay, that's good. And play the same card as last time maybe i want something with a moon on it 
Do you want me to defend this, Seamus? Uh, I... Give me one second. I guess you could just strafe it if you wanted to, or you could defend six. <laughs> we have a million defense cards. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine to take care of that. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. How far are we from... Well, I I can get this mysteries land. How about that? How far are we from the next terror level? Three cards. Okay. Minus five fear. I will get D4 magic spot. And also bring three to Han for you. Okay. Lude. More to Han. We need more to Han. <laughs> Points. <laughs> Ooh, it's not good for my elements, though. It's annoying. Yeah, I should have got. If I was taking miners, I would take that. None of these are good for my elements. Well, elusive ambushes gives me fire and sun. I mean, Dahan Ways is like X damage, where X is your presence in that land, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> Uh, well, it has to be a land with Dahan is the thing. That's impossible. I know, right? <laughs> um, I'm honestly just going to take elusive ambushes so that I can get the Furious Assault more. Yep. I have seven cards in hand. I have three card plays per turn. I have a reclaim one coming up. So it's really like two card plays per turn. And on the turns that I'm not reclaiming, I get an extra two energy. I think I'm going to take a major here. If you reclaim one, that counts as for not taking energy, though. Well, shh. <laughs> Fire and Flood, you can afford it. Look at that. Think about that increasing your element. Hey, it has a sun and a fire on it. <laughs> I'm sure you can play that if you save up in three turns. <laughs> <laughs> These are expensive ones. Well, not smothering. As they much. are all watery. Sea Monsters is so good. Even with the, the nerf, it's still so good. If I knew you were getting sea monsters, I'd have taken the beast card that came up for me, and we would have <laughs> so much beast scary times. Do I have enough? I don't have enough for accelerated rot. I don't have enough for sea monsters. I could have enough for smothering infestation. Two water, which would be this one. And two plant, which would be this one. Yeah, it does work on jungles, which is handy and this turn. Zero animals. Yeah, you wouldn't be doing much to Han stuff if you played those cards. I think I take sea monsters for the animal then. Raid question mark? Is that an ambush going to do anything anymore other than the fact it has an animal on it? It can stop builds in places where... Here, let me click this reminder. Sure. In an hour. That raid pop-up means it's... I want to keep my manifestation. In one hour and 55 minutes. Purifying flame. Even though it gives me elements... I'm not removing blight ever. I'm forgetting purifying. Flame. It doesn't do very much in this game. I have two two energy, two two energy. Ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh man, I'm too predictable, aren't I? <laughs> uh, right. So push three into the jungle, and 
take that because it's free and play an animal card. Cool. All right, Seamus. Welcome to another board. Yeah. <laughs> I never want to put anything into A5 again. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to need to remove my, my Dahan from that land because you're going to destroy all of it if you use Towering Wrath. <laughs> There's nothing to tower. Nothing in there yet, but I mean... So, John, you have A6 covered, yes? Um, A6? No, you said you were going to do it. And is B2 covered? Uh, we're probably just letting that blight. B2 is not covered. I guess you could cover it if you want. I do I do have a words of warning that defends three. But it's five. I have a wings of rust snatch three that just says no. Right. You also have elusive for defend four, but yeah. Winds of rust. Also downgrades the city. So is there anything fun to do with that? Um, kill that. Doesn't do anything. Like removal. Uh, They're building a city in A3. They're also building one in A8, which I think means uh, I put up my towering wrath and kill the city out. The city <laughs> out. Well, the city. problem is I'm putting my dot on there. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, there's other so, places you could search. So I push three, so I'm going to have three in there. I'm also going to be... Oh, yeah, you can get them out in yeah. the... Yeah, so I can gather them into D3, search that, and then push into D4 and search that. Aha! I'm searching three lands this turn, guys. Except Keep I'm searching D4 first, so take that. Oh, well, poop. <laughs> you can send them down this way for the Ravage. Or well, I whatever. I still want to explore D3, though. I'm doing D4. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely get them out in time for the All right. The wrap. Fear card. It's going to be remove Explorer Town from a land with beast disease or at least two to Han. Okay. That might be nice. That stops some builds. Uh, I am going to chase away these guys while they're here. Where do we want them to go? Was it remove a town from a land with? Um, yeah. Town? It also removes... It, it's each player, so we can do it three times. Okay, so... Interestingly, that does yeah. fix... Put them into Sun 7 on my board. Yeah, I was thinking you might be okay to have them with you. <laughs> and I am going to bring Dahan into here. Lude, would you like to come? Bring me, bring me. What do we got? Nothing. And I will generate fear. So we're definitely getting that fear card if we can generate one fear. Which Winds of Rust does, so. <laughs> Winds of Rust. And Fire in the Sky does two fear. Even better. That's 
feed them. Okay, so right. I want to push three. One, two, three strikes here out. I want to join. Hey guys. Give what's us three up? things. Ooh. Aha. A rib bone crusted with unmelting ice during the next normal ravage. Invaders do minus three damage per land. But we can save that until we want to use it. Which and we don't. That means we don't need to search D3 now. Yeah, that's all the powers. So. Okay. Can you push those guys into A6? Well. Not right now. I can't do it now, unfortunately. But I can defend three. Somewhere with Dahan. <laughs> and a land with Dahan. Well, put All them, uh, yeah, use that, and we can send guys into it, right? Yeah. Because they will ravage there, so we can send some friends. Each city does plus two damage. Luckily, there's no cities. They did the thing. Yay. Uh, add disease, ignore disease during builds, which I don't think we were relying on. And it'll be one fear per land with invaders where to hunt out number buildings. Uh, oh yeah so we could this ignores so basically wetlands or sands or coastal lands are good places sorry Seamus so wetlands, or, so wetlands or sands on the coast yeah so like maybe this one where there's a town already yep. maybe like this one or uh. I guess it's each board, so. Actually, if you push it into A7. Yep. And over here, Lude, where do you like it? Oh, I don't know. B3. Fear card. Oh, this is, I thought this was push, it's just remove. So, oh dang it! Actually, where we where we put the disease is where we can remove guys. <laughs> so we could have used that to remove to get rid of those guys if we wanted to. Well, we can still remove a town from three jungles, two jungles. Yeah, we could stop this build right entirely. Yeah. If we yeah. wanted to, do you just want to do that? That's uh, fair. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. How much is your Towering Wrath going to be in A8? It's four, four, damage. Uh, four damage. I could lead the Furious to take out the town in A8, and then... Then they're done. Move the Dahan out, and then you can... Yeah. The Wrath. Yeah, so that's business down here. They explore the oh, wetlands. Plot twist. Hello, explorers. But they don't explore. Oh, they do explore. B6. <laughs> they don't because it's wild. They, mm, they right. ignore disease. So town and B1, probably. Uh, yeah, another town up here. And one in a fox. Okay. All right, slow powers. All, All right, y'all with slow first. powers. Furious. And you could potentially deal with these wetlands pretty easily. I mean, you could just defend, leave the Dahan there and defend that for the Ravage next turn, right? Yeah, because the the disease would stop the build. Yeah, so we'll gather these guys out. But, like, if you leave the Dahan there, they're going to ravage there. And Towering Wrath could go in, like, any of the other lands with lots of things to attack. Oh, it, I, I thought Wrath was going in there. But it doesn't have to, right? Okay, there's so like, where do we want a Wrath instead, then? There's uh, like, actually, I could do the weapons. Uh, A5. And that'll just clear it out. Okay. I mean, you could still, if you want to save that to Han, you could, 
you could do something, but like, I mean, just leaving them in A8 and defend three seems like a good idea. I could defend it if we want. So then where am I going to gather tours? We don't need to worry about the uh, mysterious lands anymore. Can cool. you reach like the bottom corner of your board? I know you've like left your board. You don't have any presence on your own board. <laughs> I can gather three, push two. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't get presence in here, but I could grow presence into there. But they're ravaging. Oh, but I can't. Well, I guess if we mm. do whatever. Could pull your presence out of D seven. I can get this. I can get this guy out. Uh, from where? He doesn't have presence uh, in D7. Sorry, D8. But just to move it along onto your board. If you want to see, but no, pulling the guys out of there is just fine. too far away. Yeah. Uh, gonna push here yeah i mean if you wanted um we could probably defend a8 enough to use so you didn't need to leave the furious there but it's not like i don't think it's a problem to not like we got other problems too but the i think it's fine but yeah stopping that a5 is pretty good are we stopping a3 we're not are we uh, A3. No, but we still have our leather sack for either that or D2. <laughs> well, okay, so let me go back for a second because I can tell Oh, wait, I have my, I have my, uh, have them all attack each other card. That's what D D2 is doing. Sorry, I'm gonna... If I, if I Voice of Thunder here, then I can actually do this a little differently. Those guys don't need to be there. And I can gather like this. No, I can't because it's can't too far reach away. That. Poop. Okay, well I can still take these guys out. Save them from the rap or from the rapture. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. That's fine. You you can do whatever you did, James. And then, is there anywhere with just one guy in it where we could stop a bill? It's France, so no. Yeah. Uh, we don't know the next fear card. There's only two here, at least. So, like, that might, with the fear card, do something, potentially. But I don't, like, who knows, right? Okay, so the next is... I would just use it where you want to have wilds, basically. The next one is, I think, sands or coastal. So, well, yep. I mean, that's a good spot. That means no build there for sure. So, All right, I think we're on turn two, where turn four is the second slave rebellion. Yep. All right, I am not going to reclaim. I will be gaining a power card. So that I get more energy. Uh, I could gain a power card. Because I don't really want Pillar of Living Flame, so maybe I can find something that I do want. And that would be cool. And you're almost at any energy, so you could play it. I, any amount of energy. I mean, I'm going to have 12. Yeah. <laughs> so. Crazy. So does instruments actually, yeah, like, strike this city, then the cities, like, kill <laughs> these guys, scare them away, and then the Ravage doesn't do anything. And if there's Dahat in there, then bonus. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. 
and I can dread apparitions here if we don't have any other defend like um and then I can like get hopefully enough defense there should be enough defense uh and you also have like defend four so we yeah. certainly can do it so I'm gonna get another major because I'm like that the jungle hungers pent up calamity that goes so well with instruments of their own ruin <laughs> Ah, uh, that's so good. <laughs> uh, I still don't have presence in a mountain. Oh, I do have presence in a mountain, actually. Uh, sweep into the sea. Yeah, it's pent-up calamity, though, right? Like, that's fun times. And either pillar or... I guess I don't really need this anymore. And I want any amount of energy. Let's make a sacred site over here. Twelve. I need more expensive cards. I haven't been picking them, I guess. It's my own fault. And with my any element, I can take a moon. And... So I'm not... Actually, I could pent up Calamity. Or I can manage this on my own if we need. Or if someone wants to defend it, that's fine too. So, Okay. Because I did say I would take care of it. So I can. But I could probably do better uh, things otherwise if you want. Give me one second. Yeah, I can defend it. Cool. I can defend it too, by the way. <laughs> but I do have to defend two places. Uh, well, someone needs to defend to be able to defend B8 now. But, uh, yeah, so if I have one defend, John has a means of defending it. Seamus says, yeah, we have means. Okay. Uh, I'm, going I'm to not gaining cards, so. I am, so I need to do this first. Man, so you're saying that when I take my Reclaim 1, I have permanently... Oh, man, you're sending all the to Han. This is so good, Seamus. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lose again, you're clicking. Uh, can we defend A3, then? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, um, uh, and for... And for something... <laughs> I can... I mean, obviously, put one in there to clear that land. But, I mean... That's not defended right now, either, right? I can defend it. Right. There are means of defending it. I mean, I need to get within range, too, but that's not hard. Like, I could strife the city here, and then you defend four... I mean, that's better than defending this land because there's Blight here. Right. So put all the Dahan in there instead. Plus, I've got to get... The, I'm about to take a major power, so... Right, so who knows? Vengeance of the dead. <laughs> Do you have animal? Sure. Uh, I have some, I think. I one. one. And I don't think you have any reclaim left this turn. I could give you an animal if that would be valuable. Because that could be a lot of fun. Uh, Sure, I've never taken Vengeance of the dead. All right. Per town, city, Dahan destroyed. We need to keep that. Hmm. That's useful. That's what I just got. With that, that destroy. There's gonna be three things. It's not quite enough for B eight, yeah, is it? It's like B8, one yeah. short. I mean, it's still. It make, makes it so that the. 
the invaders get killed in B8, and one Dahan dies. Yeah. yeah five, six, and maybe our fear. Well, we don't know what the fear card is. We're definitely getting it, so we'll we can find out. <laughs> I moved most of my Dahan out of my land. Oops. But you can put presents there, but you p might not want to have presents there. Um, because of uh, if Dahan are getting destroyed. Yeah, no, I can't get close to... Uh, so I can't put it in B6, B7, or A3, is what I need to avoid doing. Right. I like that Seamus could put presents anywhere, and he's like, gotta go to the wilds. <laughs> <laughs> it feels safe. <laughs> so like, I could put it in A2... Right, because they're just and being destroyed. Actually, but they're not being destroyed eight. by the Ravage, right? Or no, they would be destroyed by the Ravage. That's true. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Destroy one of my presents within range one. Okay, so I'm avoiding to reclaim one. If I take Fire Sun, I would not have enough energy to play these. I'd have to take four energy. I'm just take Fire, and I'm... Oh. You have to hop, skip, and jump your way there, I think. Wait, hold oh, on. How, it's, oh, that's only range one you chose. That's a problem. There's your problem. There's also there's no problem. there's no like stepping stone to Han for you to get there either. <laughs> this is... With your other mode, you can't I reach... I just need to defend A3 with four. Yeah, because I'm going to strife the city. I just need to be range two... My presence is here. Yeah, I just go into wetlands A5. Cool. Is oh, it sea monsters energy. time? Because it's 4 plus 2. Right. Duh. No. Wait, I'm confused. So that 4 was including the plus 2. Oh, I gained 4. Duh. Okay. Uh, Am I manifesting is a question. Building in wetlands... I think the, more, uh, the big question there is, are you sea monster? <laughs> All right, relax, guys. I have many means of dealing damage. Sea monster, sea monster, sea monster, sea monster. You didn't yeah, take sea monsters to not play it. <laughs> no, just to spite you, I'm not taking sea monsters. <laughs> just to spite you all. I feel... I could stop the build in A2 with sudden ambush, at least. That's fair. You do what you gotta do. All right. We are at a point of no return where I'm going to do a fear card. Are we okay with that? Yep. All right. I'm going to cl click any element. That one. Does someone want the bonus element or... Yes, I believe I do. Oh, right. You wanted the animal so that we could do yeah. damage into this land. Slash. I guess we don't need to do it into this land uh, anymore. Uh, so, okay. Next fear card is remove town or explorer from a land with two or fewer invaders. Times nice. three. Okay. So that's handy. And animal. All right. So... Instruments of their own ruin. Add strife. Six damage remaining, you say. Where would these guys like to go? Uh, there's no convenient. Uh, explorers should absolutely not go. Just the sands, probably. I guess they might go into the sands, but yeah, not into the wetlands. Yeah. I mean, they're not building in D3, so they could all go in there, but it's also a big uh, spot. I don't know about this, but it's easy for me to kill them in the sands for. Yeah, I, I think so. They might explore there, but 
It's fine. I could also manifest in there if needed. And if they if they escalate, it's just a town here, so that's fine too. Uh, night terrors. Hey, three fear. And pent up calamity is gonna go on this city. Or I could be like, oh, this land is too crowded. I can't see the thing I want to click on. Well, well, self, I can just click on it and then say, I want to click a piece to add strife to it. So I'll click the one that I want. It's that one. Nice. Ooh, that's just nice. Especially in 2D. Well, as, and when things are really crowded, you want that. And in 2D, sometimes with strife, it's hard to tell the pieces apart. So, uh, all right, that's me. Uh, Lou, did you want to do stuff first? So an ambush. I don't need to gather. So sudden. And then ambushes. Defend four. One damage. Yes, one damage. And that's all I need to do. And that's in uh, land three. Unexpected event. Number two. Farmers seek the Dahan for aid. Oh boy. We could say they don't ravage at all. Uh, but we want them to ravage. Uh, yeah, we kind of want them to ravage. Uh, so spurn the invaders... The problem with this card is there's a lot of Dahan damage with disease and everything. Two damage yes. on each board to Dahan in a land with town cities and Dahan. So that would actually trigger Vengeance of the Dead. Um, hey. uh -huh. There. Um, well, it could be here, but it could be here too. Um, on here, there's no such... Oh, there is. It would be this land because that's part of your board. Yeah. And here it would be either of these lands, these two, I think. Oh, it could be this one. Uh, add one disease to a land with at least two, which would be this one or that one. Uh, there's a couple of... Um, it's weapons. literally only this one. Sorry? There has to be two buildings. So it's that one or yeah, this one on this board. Blight that gets added because there's gonna be cascades. Oh yeah, adding sorry, adding blight. So that would add blight here, and it would add blight. We could say here, or we could say here with the cast. That would cascade. Oh, yeah. This would kill presence. <laughs> yeah, my presence could go. That's fine. But uh, this would be a cascade. That is gonna blight the island. Um, they give them minus one health until the end of the turn. Um, or we could add town to a land with Dahan and skip the ravage. Uh, no, I think that's bad. <laughs> uh, so they would build in four jungles, then they would build in three wetlands, and that's probably going to give us too many towns. Yeah, they'd build. Well, they'd build city, city town town so they wouldn't they only build two extra towns but okay. there's still a lot of towns coming in wetlands so yeah that's probably bad i think we just take the spurn it has to be spurn always be spurning <laughs> <laughs> uh so dealing damage to dahan here that was my bug report i believe right <laughs> uh i think Oh, it has to be in a land with town cities. So it could be this one or this one. We also have this, which is add... It's the new diseases factors in too. Add disease to a land with both Dahan and invaders do two damage to Dahan there. So if we click this one, we also like lose a Dahan there regardless. 
is it? Yeah, or here, I guess. So there's combinations that happen with this. Well, there it's only on two boards that we add the disease. Oh, that's true. We can choose not to add the disease in a place where we prefer. Right. Uh, so for adding disease... Oh, so this is uh, this is the two damage. I guess here, the Dahan here aren't actually doing anything anyways. Okay. Oh, and it took a strife away. Because... Okay. Yeah, that was the bug. That's, that's the actually bug. a bug. And so, since I don't want to have that bug happen, let's click the other land. <laughs> That is a bug. It's not. It shouldn't uh, take away strife. Uh, uh, move the Jahan in eight. Yeah, I think we only need two here, right? Yeah. yeah. And then that's automatic. Happens. Now we're adding blight to a land with at least two buildings. So this one, otherwise we get a cascade, right? I believe so. Why would we get a because they're oh well, they're not ravaging no they are ravaging well actually so they're, gonna the, they're gonna have minus one health so I think with vengeance of the dead they're not gonna cast it oh gonna kill yeah. okay I mean do we so still we do want to put blight, blight here or? um I think we'd be better off putting it in p8 okay. And for this one, it's going to be either, wait. Oh, we didn't do it this board yet. So it has to be this land because it's the only one with multiple buildings. Yeah, it's either a cascade or another presence destroy. But or the island's blighting, so it might as well be a cascade. This one can go here. That island is blighted. Okay. It's classic downward spiral. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we want to add... Do want, I mean, I don't mind the Cascade. I also don't mind losing a Presence. It would be two Presences lost, so yeah. Cascade's probably better. But you have 15 Blight now. Now the island's Blighted, <laughs> so yeah. And this yep, can go... We'll just go back and forth between these two lands until we lose, right? That's what Frenzy does. Yeah, right, Frenzy? Frenzy? <laughs> Welcome, Hi, Frenzy. Frenzy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it here because it's less than this. This is going to have a lot in it soon. In like one second. Frenzy is in the chat, by the way. There hasn't been any chat in the past yeah. two hours. But Frenzy's here now. That's why I said Frenzy. Oh, okay. Uh, so we choose uh, two boards to add disease to a land with both Dahan and invaders do two damage to Dahan there. So if there's a board where that isn't the case, like if we do it here, that Dahan does get killed. I think every board has Dahan and Invaders, so. Right, but we can pick lands where, like, it doesn't matter, like, D7. Well, right. isn't it? Wait. On half boards, add disease to both Dahan and Invaders. Yeah, it's going to, like, we're going to have to do it. If we do it here, Vengeance of the Dead does trigger immediately. Okay. Yeah, and fine. I think, yeah, I think that's okay. I mean, we need the two Dahan in eight, okay. eight anyway. Yes, stop kidding so we two. kill this town here. And, but we don't do it here. Oh, yeah, if we click this board, we have to do it here, right? So we want to save yeah. that Dahan for the Ravage, so. No, he's dead by Vengeance now. The Dahan? The, the board, not the, the Dahan, but the Town and Explorer are dead by Vengeance. We don't need the Dahan there. Oh, okay. So you'd rather just let it go there? It, it doesn't have to, but we don't need it there. Well, you're the Dahan master, so take your pick. <laughs> D or B. So where else are they? There's lots of choices on D. D2, D4. D7. D... Uh... Don't want to be taking me out of D2 because that Dahan is going to kill a city. Yeah, he will kill a city now, won't he? He will now. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I forgot that. So good thing we didn't click him. Probably do it in D7. Yeah, that. I mean, I was thinking it's just an explorer there, and you got lots of friends nearby, so. Okay. 
All right, remove one explorer in town from a line with two or fewer. So we could just stop them building. They won't build anyways here, but stop like everything there. Um, that's already dead. There's not many places actually with two or fewer yeah. left. <laughs> yeah. So I guess stop this just this wetland, like make it so they don't even ravage, right? Yep, yeah. that's fair. Or like if they ravage, it's just the uh, explorer. Um, take the town out of this. Uh, yeah. And this explorer, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, Take out Joe Schmo. Uh, they're exploring either. Right, sands or coastline, right? So. Coastline. Might as well prevent an extra town being built there. Yeah, well, prevents extra explorers who would pop. I guess, yeah, there's going to be two explorers, but at least there won't be three. Uh, choose for me. No. Uh, <laughs> kill town. Actually, we could have chosen to yeah, leave the cities alive. That shouldn't have been automatic. Yeah. Bug report! <laughs> I can send a bug report for that. It's our first... We haven't done a bug report yet. We've had some really small things. So, how many files are going to be attached? I predict 61. Oh. I say 54. I mean, I would have said 54, but I decided I wanted a higher number. It's spinning. Squirrely. Spinny. 52. 52. Oh, it was close. It is only it only sends now the current turn and the zip file from the last turn and that's and the screenshot and stuff and that's it. It doesn't send all the zip files for the whole game anymore. So that cuts it down. But it's still like when there's three or four players, it's still a lot. When you got a complicated sequence. Frenzies cascading back and forth takes forever, but only on Frenzy's computer and it doesn't happen to anyone else. <laughs> or anyone else no one else does that so <laughs> only frenzy it's only it's only frenzy problem we have tried to reproduce that frenzy and it doesn't happen for us so something's going on there possibly your computer is going oh not again would you give this up with this blight come on you've got enough cards in play all right so that was that one. This one is straightforward. Ooh, victory condition. Are we going to... Do we just win? We have one city. city one city I left. I, I can do it myself. It, yeah, you can just... Yeah, and then we have this Vengeance of the Dead party. Oh, but they're going to build cities and be one. And Vengeance of the Dead just automatically goes off. Nice. They build multiple cities. So we would have won. But we, we would have didn't. won if there wasn't a city, but there was a city, so we didn't win. Coastal lands. How is D1 not blighted yet? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> It's been, been a bad, a been a been bad place. Oh, they looked for something. Surprise. There's nothing. I mean, one thing we could do in the digital version is make it not for sure how many oh. treats there are. We still have the ability to remove things from a single land. That's true. Doesn't actually help us just yet. Oh, we could have done it before the build and won. <laughs> But we didn't. <laughs> well, yeah, but we could still figure something out here, right? So where... So punish... Where can that reach? It doesn't reach any of the cities, does it? Because that's... It's only range... Range, range 1, effectively. Zero, which is range 1, but you're not range 1 from a city. Yeah. 
I mean, we do have a fast phase, so. Yeah. If only someone played sea monsters. Uh, well, if I had played sea monsters, then uh, I wouldn't have played manifestation, and I still wouldn't have fixed all the problems. So. You could have played both. <laughs> I guess I could have, but then I wouldn't have gotten the defense that we needed. So, too bad. I think we're doing just fine. Yep. This is the this is the part where John says, Yeah, we've won. You know, it doesn't matter what we do anymore. <laughs> Dude. Do you want to get the um guys out of A two before I, you know, kill those two explorers and accidentally get a uh down in the process? Let me answer that question for you, no. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm good, fam. <laughs> oh, wait. A fear card. Too mysterious. Myst we're hard. getting too much fear for me. We're going faster than I can look at them. <laughs> There's no town in range one of me here. Uh, with the Han? You know, I could have killed the city with... Okay, let me do this better. It doesn't really matter, but let me do this better. Gotta you can't kill two. the city with Gather the Warriors or Lead the Furious. No, but I can destroy a town. Oh. Like, I mean, you could destroy the towns in D4, too, where they came from. Yeah, uh, I'll but, get those in a moment. You know, uh, you could do this thing. That's fair. But yeah, I could have been in D four. You're right. They are doing things in D one, so it makes sense to respond in kind. Oh, you're this splitting is what, the two this damage. This is where you click the land to split. You're splitting two damage across two lands. Between target land and one of your lands. So you must pick one of your lands. That minus one health on towns is nice. Yep. And on cities. So I'm reclaiming. I am also reclaiming. Are there fast powers that are four energy or less that destroy cities? Uh, probably. Like this one that did the one Talons of Lightning. Oh, but that's more energy. Pyro Pyroclastic Flow does three energy. Two damage. <laughs> Is there a card that's four less energy? Yes, Talons of Lightning. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Hunger of the Swarm does four damage in four energy to, in the fast phase. And maybe more than that, depending if there's beasts nearby. All right. Trees and Stones, of course, could do more damage. Indeed. These are what's left, which is... So there's not many options left that uh, do that in the fast. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's up to me and Seamus to take out cities. I mean, I can scare them to life. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you, can, you can scare them, John. I, mean, I can on scare the other them. Hand, we could get... Uh, 21 fear and win the game with uh, just immediate victory. It's true. Plus we do have two fear cards at level 3. So I can also defend a lot for the Dahan to kill them. 
So, like, yeah. I can defend enough here that the city will die. Probably. With dread apparitions and portents. And my any. Or I could get instruments of their own ruin or pent-up calamity to do things. So I can definitely take care of the city up there with the Dahan being there. Okay. Uh, so I'll just defend it then. But is there a major that might be even more fun? <laughs> I don't think... Well, Rappin' Wings is fun. Trees and Stones is fun. Just unlock the gates with the threshold. <laughs> Somehow. I don't Which think that's... Have an any, and you can get an extra element that you already and have. And I'm still going to gain a power card and see what I get, because... Of course. Unlock, Unlock the, the gates. gates! I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to play it, though, I don't think. Uh, just full from the open blossoms isn't bad. Yeah, there's no cities in those land types, though. I'll take that. Oh no, all my other majors. <laughs> uh, I'm not ever getting to three card plays, so let's just play, get more energy. Five, five energy. But wait, you're already at any energy. Why would you want to limit yourself to five? Bug report. I've decreased my amount of energy. Uh, so I'm actually not playing those and just playing two energy worth of cards <laughs> <laughs> and taking an animal. That's it's my go. <laughs> okay. Claiming. Um, I so, want to try and kill the city in B1, yes? You and Lude are competing to try to kill the city in B1, yes. Well... B one's harder for me, so if you if you if you take care of B one, I'll take care of C one. I already have C one in the ravage. Well, you you say that, but I don't trust you. So I'm taking care of B1 myself. Frenzy says John's paying for the event if it happens. <laughs> I only have ten energy. I don't know. That's not enough. It's going to be the one that you have to spend three energy per land. You per want sacred to site. <laughs> yeah. So even with that, we won't have enough. Oh, yeah. You could just destroy it. You could, you could, yeah. Winds of Rest takes care of it. Winds of Rest reduces it. The end. The end. GG. Do whatever you want, Lud. Steal the win. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I moved your mouse. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Seamus is uh, on the play play any number of cards and... section of Keeper. And... <laughs> Minor power, elemental boon. Deal one damage to a different invader. A. Eh? Boom. And major. Trees and stones, eh? Down in the briny deep, kill a city. Oh, Veil the Nice Hunt plus Blazing Renewal. There you go. Except, do we have destroyed presence? Has anyone lost a presence this game? Oh, yeah, I almost lost a presence. So. You almost destroyed. lost a presence. I don't think so. Rip. If you're wondering, okay. yeah, we've been doing okay. We did Blight the Island, but we haven't lost a single presence. I don't... Oh, Elements of Boon. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I don't need that threshold, though. Do I have something that pushes? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Fast push. All good? Not good? Not good. Now good. All right.
Should we look at our fear card? Does someone want look at the last fear card? Does someone want an element? Do you want your uh, last plant? Uh, three, three, two, no. There. Have one. Uh, an extra plant then. Just to get my final level of the mate. That we're not getting to, but hey, you never yeah. know. The last, last fear, fear card. card. Add strife to align with the Han. And I, that, you can't actually activate this card. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. But it's there. There you go. You've got the max punish and the max spreading wilds. Uh, well, then, just for loot, I'm going to defend this land instead. <laughs> Fine. How pedestrian. Since loot is going to destroy the city. Hi, Kirsten. Fear card. We're just nine fear away. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Push. And I want to come watch. <laughs> I'm going to defend, and I'm going to defend. And I guess I'll just take out the city. I thought about not taking out the city, <laughs> seeing what the event does, but no. The event changes it to a build. Uh, there are no cities on the island. Victory. I think the important thing to note is that we couldn't have done this without myself. Yep. <laughs> right, I am now playing Spirit Island Victory on Spotify. Yay. Oh, you're going to love this, Seamus. And yeah. Lude, sorry. Uh, because we got 56 points. But you know why we got 56 points? Because we didn't use Spirit Benefits, and we <laughs> could have had 54 points, but we didn't use our Benefits. <laughs> we never actually used the one to reduce the Ravage either, so we got plus four points. Uh, too many points. We had so many Dahan. Table, flip the table. Oh, I guess we had the the original number of Dahan at the end, right? Because there's six on each board normally. Yeah. Yeah. So the slave rebellion topped us back up. Nice. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, that is powers long forgotten. Uh, it is. I don't know if maybe it's more usual against France to have the invaders get no benefits, <laughs> but I've never had that happen when I've played. <laughs> they always get one. Uh, it's a lot easier for them, I think, when it's only two invaders in the land uh, to just pop in and get one. Uh, but we were able to steamroll them. Uh, I was having, sorry, I was having plus one range come so early on. Was awesome. Yeah. No, and if, if the invaders get some of these early on, it is brutal. Like, oh, yeah, you need to pay an extra energy to gather or push invaders, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, so we did pretty well there. And we only actually used this one and the plus two energy. We didn't actually use the one-time things. The one that would have been scary is this land cannot be targeted by powers for the rest of the game. Yeah, you can get around it a little bit by, like, gathering and pushing um but like yeah it's pretty tough because you can't really defend it or directly damage stuff very easily yeah. you have to like you could use like vengeance anything that like deals damage to an adjacent land you could use but it's usually a, that's a minor effect right mm -hmm. uh yeah so in a future stream there'll be a button here that says second wave What's that all about? Maybe we'll see that next week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're working on it. 
But I think it is high time we call it a night. That was a fun time, though. Sleep. Yeah, sleep time. Let's see if there is a raid that we should raid. Uh, Pirate Savvy is back at it. So I'm going to click on Pirate Savvy. And join in to get some bonus handle lever points and come visit uh, Pirate Savvy with us. Uh, oh. Yeah, she's been doing some fundraising for uh, Multiple Sclerosis Charity. So uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. I will send you over to Pirate Savvy in just a moment. Have a good night. Night-night. <laughs>